Hey guys, welcome back to Richard in the Sky. I'm Richard. We are out in French Valley in Murrieta, California. And today's the day. Today is the day I've been waiting for. It's the first flight. It's crazy, it's crazy. So here's the plane. Just doing some like final things. We're, we've got to have an inspection done on the plane by a, a designated airworthiness representative. Have the DAR out here. He's gonna look at the plane. We're gonna go over lots of things. And um, pending his approval, we will go have the first flight, which is pretty nuts. All right, so here's my aircraft log and gonna have my first two signatures in here certifying that uh, the plane has been inspected for part 43 appendix D and was found to be in condition for safe operation. All right, I'm gonna go stick these new checklists in the plane. Put the checklist in here just for now. So we have a nice laminated checklist. I also have a backup here on the iPad. Okay, so Rich, what we're gonna do now is yeah. Kind of like what we did in, in Torrance. Okay. You, we're going to climb in, we're going to switch on, we're going to boot up, we're going to see everything's good. We're going to turn the key and start it. Uh, let it warm up, we're going to see pressures and everything. Mike will probably come and take a picture of the, the screen and have yeah. a look in. He wants to see that the airplane is ready for flight. This is the final step ready for flight. As you can see, Mike is very sharp. He found any little screw loose, anything, he's, 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 nothing misses his eye. Yeah. And um, now we're going to go and do that start up. And uh, if everything goes well, we d demonstrate flaps, trim, uh, navigation lights, lights, etc. All going good, which I believe it will be because we've you know, prepared well for this moment. Then you'll get a certificate and then we'll fly. Good. Perfect. Good. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we're getting in the plane. We're going to do uh, our second run up. We're going to taxi it over there, kind of do a high speed run up, check all the flaps, everything John basically just mentioned lights, flaps, systems. If everything goes well with that, hopefully we will get our uh, certificate and then we'll go fly. Let's go here and get the master on. Clear prop. Okay, so we had a really nice run up. We checked all the systems, the fuel pumps, the lanes. Um, we checked the autopilot, made sure the trim was adjusting, the stick was moving properly with the autopilot adjustments. And everything looks really good. So hopefully we get uh, an official piece of paper from the DAR. And if we do, we are gonna go fly this airplane. Wow. So, gonna be suspicion and prop. But so if you decide to do any kind of major alteration, just okay. kind of plan that ahead of time. And you have to contact them, and they'll just say, "Here's, you know, we want you in this flight test area for this this amount of time." Okay. Um, All right. So I've got my airworthiness certificate, and uh, here's my registration. These things need to live inside the airplane, so I'm going to make some copies of this. But uh, that's very good. Now we are all clear to begin phase one, which is the 40 hours of flight test over our non-urban area, which is where we are out here in French Valley. And we are good after we have a bite to eat to go fly this airplane. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're getting ready to pre-flight the airplane. Pre-flight is something you always do before you fly. You know, you check all the edges, you check your fuel, check the moving parts. John's gonna take me through his flow. I've got a flow because I've got some time. I start off with foil because if you need oil, you don't wanna be halfway through a pre-flight then come and do it. I wanna get, if I need to go fetch oil and get rags and toss yeah. something, then it's fine. Yes, so, so it's well with it. Now, let me give you the correct way to go. Right, here this. You wanted that. Perfect. You put the oil cap on correctly? I did, indeed. Okay, so you know it's easy to put on the skew. Nice and snug. Okay, good. And... All right, so we're good on coolant and brake fluid. Checking any like connections in here? Yeah, so what you want to always look at is oil lines that they're not touching the exhaust. It's one of the things on the other side as well yeah. to check. And leaks in there. All right, very good there. Okay, what's the gas collator do? You tell me. Gascalate. It, 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 ca it captures water. So that, you see, where's it mounted? 
So I don't do this every time, but if you've been there, you pull it, you pull it up here. You see it, you see it's clear? That's yeah. good. Okay. Look at it carefully. The water on the top. Okay, and where's the, the water? Bottom, on the bottom. bottom. Yeah. So because it's got a, a rounded edge, I look very carefully. It hasn't got a grip. A little. A new airplane is always particular. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We're pulling the plane out for first flight. <laughs> I'm nervous. To be honest. And you should be. <laughs> Clear. Final runway one eight, crank it out, Charlie. Alright, we're clear left and right. Can I do my flows, then yes. I know I've covered, and then you can go use the checklist like a, like a check. Great. Go That's ahead. what I go to. So I start full and free movement on the controls. I just want to feed it myself. Okay, you go for it. Alright. Alright, flight controls are free, correct? Excellent. Then trim to center, which is good. Yeah, trim's good. Then temperatures, and then we'll see if I've missed anything. So I look at coolant and oil temperatures, so it's warm okay. enough for a run up. So, brake is on. That's nice. Yep. Do a run up to 4,000 RPM. Okay. Awesome. It's happening. It's happening. When that's new, sometimes the brakes creep a bit, but... Okay, so that's four. Then lanes. Okay, we will check lane. Ease operation first, so we've removed A. All right, we're going to caution, Charlie, about uh, 5 miles, 45, and we'll bring A back on. Okay, then moving down, fuel pump, switch on pump, that switch one, on. switch that one off. Yep. Okay, no change, that's good. Yes, that's good. Both on for Both take on. I leave them on from now. Leave them on. Then, so I'm, I'm doing this flow, I'm showing you how I do it. Sure. Then prop. And this, this way I noticed that we can run through the checklist. Left downwind runway. Pull it out. I only go How normally enough? three, but go all no count of three, but go all the way for this one. That is putting so much stress on everything. Yeah, yeah. It's not necessary. And then that, yeah. And then I always visualize green for takeoff. Boom. Okay, cool. Okay. Then we've done everything on the engine. I throttle back to two thousand. Well, we'll do an idle check, yeah. All right, yeah. engine's good. Flaps to one. Flaps are fuel one. on full as tank. We're good. We, we run up on that. We go on that tank. Flaps fuel. Gales all green. Green, green, green. Boom. Then spawn on zero. And then harnesses, hatches, and heavy objects. But done. We're good. All right. Your hey, moment man. has come, sir. Here we go. So the takeoff. Go fly this airplane. What I do is. Normal takeoff, normal, but don't pull it off high. Stay quite low and just feel that everything feels nice. I'm going to be right behind you, but I want you to do your flight. Okay. Just, it's not big, you just feel that left's right, left's right, you know, um, and yeah. be nice and relaxed. And if it's all good, by then you'll have built up a bit of speed. Let it climb. And we want to get our height quickly. So pull it up to about 75 and, you know. All right, what altitude do you want to take it to? 7,000 feet. So I'm. Um, I take off, stay low a little bit, feel it. If it's all feeling good, everything's looking good, we climb. If not, we cut the power and we land. Okay. Okay, you're feeling good? Yeah. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So I'm going to put this on engine page, okay? You've got traffic over yeah. here. Here we go. Oh, deep breath. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not a little bit nervous on this one They're there, good. mate. French Valley traffic, November 313 Romeo is... Holding short of runway 18 for its maiden flight. Uh, we'll be taking runway 18, French Valley traffic. You ready? Nice. I'm ready. All right. Here we go. We are taking the runway. Yeah, I see some traffic coming in. 
Should I just line it up and get going? Yeah. Check out traffic, sir. Inside your one of the boats, Delta Box Trot, two miles northwest at 2700. Should I go find a field? Should we rotate at about 60 this time? No, it's too, yeah. Alright. Coming good. And airspeed's alive. 80 reserve still in the green. And we're going to cross and we're rolling 180 to the right side. Okay. Feels good. Okay. Feels good. Okay. Let's climb. Let's Feels get good. out of here. Climb. And we're climbing. Um, you're doing 90, not climbing. That's climbing. That's All right. Climbing. That's climbing. Height is everything on this lap. Good. Uh, get your ball in the middle. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Charlie, okay, nice. might have squeeze into downwind in front of you. Yeah, you could do that. We'll do a right 360 for you. Thanks so much, really appreciate it, one down five. Alright. Okay, we've got some idiot over there. It's the started off at 1350 up, I've got the downwind traffic, do you see it? Yeah, you yeah. There's nearly a beam of us. Is it? Yeah. Okay, you can call it to... Here, five, zero, one, one, five, shot on the left downwind, uh, number two for arrival behind. Two got it. Go. French rally traffic. Uh, I'm gonna do... French Valley traffic, 313 Romeo is uh, left crosswind, French Valley traffic. Look at those two. Right, sir, it's taking the active for a straight out departure, runway 18, French Valley. Hey. French Valley traffic, that was for 7 Delta Charlie on the left down, and runway 18 behind. Yeah, he's going to get better in the French Valley. French Valley traffic, Sky Hog, 02 Echo. So you see, nice to reach to the runway there. French Valley. Good, well done, congratulations, sir. Thanks, mate. Okay. Alright, we're past 5,000. Should I go upwind this way? Just yeah, yeah, just, just uh, yeah, hang around over here, just yeah. as you like, yeah. Good, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels good, man. I'm flying my airplane. You yeah. are. Pretty fucking crazy and awesome. I got a traffic check one time. Alright, here we go. Go up close traffic. Got the runway right below us. Alright, so, right, we're getting a warning here. Caution, yeah, I mean. What is it? Heading Miss Comp, is that all it is? for you. So, up at 7 you can level off and right. set up trimmer and relax. Okay. We're at 7,000 feet, uh, we and we will... Uh... Congratulations on the first flight. Thank you very much. Feel very, very happy about it. We're up at 7,000 feet doing a box pattern, 313 Romeo. How does everything feel and sound to you now that we're cruising? I, uh, I wait and see. Everything feels fine. How is the rudder now? Do you need rudder? Um, yeah, a little bit. Take your feet off, whatever. It's a little bit uncoordinated to the right. Um, about 10 miles to the north, coming on the Arnaz. Um, okay, so you stay, you concentrate on being over the field. Okay. Um, and you fly off this instrument. Fly off this. Um, yeah. Let me just see if that is a... So long, okay, good. So you picked that up from the trip, that's French great. Traffic, sky hot, zero two echo, left crosswind, one eight, full stop, French Valley. Left base, run that one eight, zero two echo. French Valley traffic, come out of first, I'm double charge, and left crosswind, one eight, French Valley. Okay, Good. We're up at oh, 7,000 feet. Let me get the first picture of you in your aeroplane. Hello, traffic, Cessna 746. Okay, turn it back downwind. Checking the coordination. Yeah, I'm just getting, getting everything rudder. kind of worked in. Yeah. Alright, why don't we turn the uh, base. Woo, John! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Son of a gun. Alright. Alright, we're down to 58 knots. 55. First of all, I got 129, 22 military helicopters, 3 miles to the southeast, 3,000 feet southbound. First of last call. There's her. There it is. There we stalled the airplane. That away. Yeah. So now let's quickly do 
So she seems good. Can I get the flaps up? Yeah. Okay, you want to fly a little bit, just fly around okay. again. Don't worry too much about the keeping the ball exactly in the middle. Just feel it out. You want everything to settle in a bit. I'm okay. going to make a list here um, of everything. Can we just stay at this altitude? How about this? And play a little bit up and down. You can check. Just anything. Just play. Um, you. Boop, 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 boop. I normally leave one of the screens on here just to get early warning. Yeah, well, it's your plane. It's it your is, plane, it? man. It's great. Um, they said the reason you do check your cameras now already pointing up. Yeah. The one. The, the VNE is to make sure none of the cabs are loose, make sure you're not getting any flatter, you know. Okay. You probably never hardly ever flight 155. I live at 155. Good. Um, but she feels very nice, she's handling nicely. You can turn out the direction and as long as you reach the runway, we're good. Okay. Up, up, up front. Okay. Now we know. Everything else is looking good. What else do we need to do? I said mainly the trip and we'll re re sync everything. Let, let, let's head back. How are you feeling? Yeah good. Okay, good. I mean it's not bad what we've uh, what we've achieved here. Got a few squawks, but that's should we start bringing some altitude yeah. out? So you know the joint procedure, yeah? Um, 45 down Yeah, so go go down, out, out past the field. Where's the field? Yeah, it's right there to your left. Oh, there. So, you know, fly altitude that way, then come in that way to start it. You want to get altitude down to like 23, we'll call it 24. Yeah? Yep. 2400. Ooh. What do you see? I uh, see this airplane, it's beautiful. Good. This color is quite stunning, isn't it? Yeah, who, who, who could have thought you make great fruit? Yeah. Nice. Well, I saw it on the Audi, the Audi e-tron. Oh, that's where I've seen Yes, I didn't realize that. An Audi e-tron color. One of those. Nice. French Valley traffic, 313 Romeo, Blue Slang is entering a downwind 45 for runway 1A, French Valley traffic. Excellent. I love the way you call it blue. It is well, blue, really. Now that you look it. at it, it looks like blue. <laughs> On non-towered, oh, just color in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to give them the color just so people... No, 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 it's excellent. But my initial thing would have been great, but it is a blue. It feels blue to me. It's yeah. more blue than gray. Yeah. Fast. Pitch it up. French Valley, we turn base yet? At French Valley traffic, uh, 303 Romeo is, uh, is turn base, and now we're final. French Valley traffic. Yeah, guys, good. I missed the call, sorry. French Valley traffic, 8 single with the uh, West End of uh, Vernacular Parkway, 3,500 maneuvering French Valley. A little high, aren't we? Yeah, uh, long run right back, ready? Really. French Valley 14 Sierra is turning left base. Fight fast. Fly on, fly on, fly on. Use the runway, use the runway. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. Because we're going to fuel anyway, so it's perfect. <laughs> There's a beauty. Beautiful, There beautiful. we go, we set her down. Lovely, good job. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, thank you. Nice. All right, first okay. flight. That's perfect. And we're right at the fuel pump where we want to be, so you just okay. exit yeah. here and we're good. It's like you planned it. Can I switch on the aircon? Yeah, we will uh, get our last call. Uh, French Valley 14 Sierra is turning final, runway 18. Touch and go, French Valley. French Valley traffic, 313 Romeo Blue Slang is off runway 18. French Valley traffic. Okay, man.
All right, so we've just come back from the successful first flight. <laughs> I got a mouthful of uh, excitement here. There's some squeaks, uh, squawks, and, and tweaks that we need to uh, kind of make some adjustments on, you know, first flight and all, but uh, we're going to manage those things now before we go back out. But all in all, everything went uh, very successfully, wouldn't you say, Jean? It went excellently. You know, sometimes on a first flight, you can only fly five minutes because there's something dramatic wrong, but there was no drama. It was all pretty good. All right, you guys, that was the first flight. Thank you so much for taking the journey with me. Uh, the next subsequent episodes will be about taking guests up in the plane, so I look forward to sharing that content with you. But today was beautifully successful. Uh, I flew my airplane for the first time. It's a dream come true. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. Take a look at that beauty over there. We're doing some final tweaks on it, but just wanted to check back in and say thank you and uh, more really fun content to come. So be sure to like Richard in the Sky and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.